She's got the moves of Jot Vash. She throws knives like she's from, I don't know, a knife wielding contest. I was going to say like O'Brien throws darts, but sure. <laughs> I, I dig. Yeah. Um, Rizzo, a uh, character uh, who we, we're still trying to determine what her end game is in this situation. She just killed fan favorite Hugh on Star Trek Picard's latest episode. Mm. And uh, what was her explanation, Cam? Um, well, because he violated a treaty. He did violate a treaty, apparently, and uh, because of that, she's allowed to kill him. Yes, uh, if you're Jot Baj and you're literally doing like black ops agents on planet Earth and uh, spitting vi venom or whatever, like, do you really care about like interplanetary treaties to realize your own goals? Listen, Tyler, I don't think you've been paying attention. I think Rizzo has done everything by the book up until this point. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you think? Okay. Ultimately, yeah. her, her goal here, though, is she wants to find the android planets that uh, Maddox built, uh, Dodge and Soji. Yep. She wants to destroy it and ensure yes. that no synth can ever, you know, come into being once again in this Or universe. become the destroyer, yeah. yeah. And yeah. this whole destroyer thing, would it not kind of subvert our expectations if we find out that, yes, um androids would be the death of us you know like i'm also curious about like why the romulans are so adamant about not having androids do you think it ties back to all the borg stuff that's going on too well that would make sense because i mean why else involve all the borg but well it's a really great example actually to yeah mention the borg and to have them on the show because it is kind of the representation of the worst that technology can lead to and then that we can have by contrast maybe the most positive of what technology can lead to and the argument for one versus the other. I don't know if the show has walked that line particularly well thus far, making the argument for one or the other, but I'm hoping we get there by the end so that we can go, yeah, that was really interesting themes they were tackling, and they had a really strong point of view. Yeah. Uh, what do you think Starfleet Command is thinking right now about this uh, Lieutenant Rizzo that's uh, not been showing up in San Francisco for an extended period of time? Um, I don't know. Speaking about like the perils of technology, would not facial recognition technology used by Starfleet somehow be able to pick up uh, that uh, their security person is, is now like a, a Romulan with pointy ears or something? Tyler, I don't know if you've been paying attention. She had pointy ears now. <laughs> it's obviously not the same person. Oh, okay. yeah. That is a great disguise. 